congratulations to you and to your team for finally getting this across the finish line. What struck out to me in your announcement this morning is that you still had limited residual concerns around pieces of the deal. Can you elaborate on that? So in our previous consultation that we put out a couple of weeks ago, uh, we made clear that the deal had resolved the substantial concerns that we had previously. And that's because Microsoft have brought forward this, this fundamental concession, this fundamental restructure of the deal, which now puts all of the cloud streaming rights in relation to Activision's games content, all of the games that are available now, but also any content that's created over the next 15 years. And those rights are put in the hands of Ubisoft, an independent competitor. And that breaks the stranglehold that we were concerned Microsoft would have over this important cloud gaming sector as it develops and emerges. Now, we had some residual concerns at the time just to make sure that the terms of that arrangement with Ubisoft were absolutely watertight. We had a short consultation, yeah. and as a result of that, we've satisfied ourselves that those concerns are resolved, and therefore, this new restructured deal is clear to proceed today. A sigh of relief, I'm sure, on the Microsoft side, as well as for a lot of tech companies broadly. Sarah, while I have you, though, I'm curious about how some of this uh, experience applies to some of the other tech deals that are on your docket. I'm looking at, for example, the Adobe Figma merger, which is under quite a bit of scrutiny as well, not just from you, but from your peers around the world as well, in addition to the latest probe that I believe Ofcom recommended to the CMA when it comes to cloud computing in, in the country. Walk us through the updates on those two investigations. So those investigations are both live, as you say, the Adobe Figma investigation is, is sort of fairly well uh, evolved through our process, but that's being investigated by an independent group as the case with all of our phase two merger investigations. Uh, so it's not really appropriate for me to comment further on that deal at this stage. Uh, likewise, our new investigation into cloud infrastructure services has just started. Uh, this is an important investigation, uh, but it's running to an 18-month timetable, so it'll be some time before we come through with our initial views on that. But what I would say is a common theme through all of this work is that the CMA has a real responsibility to make sure that all of these digital markets are open, are running effective competition in conditions where choice and innovation can really thrive where new competitors are able to come into the market and grow. And that is important because yeah. it benefits both consumers and businesses who are trying to compete in those markets. So that is a responsibility that we have, whatever deal we're looking at, and, and we take that responsibility I'm very seriously. I'm, I'm glad to hear you say that. And, and very quickly, Sarah, some of your critics have compared the CMA to how the European Commission operates, saying that perhaps the CMA is more rigid and less willing to negotiate and work with the authorities as opposed to, say, the European Commission or arguably even the American authorities as well. What would you say to that? Is this going to change your approach to those mergers? We have about 40 seconds left. So we've been really clear that it's for the parties to resolve our concerns. Microsoft eventually came forward with a major concession that was a real game changer, but they took far too long to do that. So my message is, if parties want to resolve their concerns, come forward quickly and fully in an effort to do that. And then we will engage constructively in those discussions. And you'll get engage from the beginning. Is that right, Sarah? Yes or no? Well, the sooner they come forward, the sooner we can engage, but it needs to be a genuine, sincere attempt to resolve our concerns.